Oi, you there. Unless you want to end up getting yourself killed here in this forest, I suggest you turn all the way back around and head back to your village. You know this forest is prohibited for any traveler to end up wandering around in this forest. Hmm? You say that you're lost. <sighs> what the thunk it. Of course I would end up running into another traveler who would end up being so lost in the forest trying to find a way to another village. Hmm? You're not trying to look for another village. So you're looking for someone. You remember hearing someone say that they live here in this forest. What are you getting at, human? Ah, I see. So they're your friend. Well, I guess I have no choice. I'll help guide you there. But first, can you please tell me your name? Hmm. A very interesting name. What's my name? The name's Lilik. And, as you can probably already tell, I am an elf. Or rather, a sort of elf in the ranger. Hmm? What do I do? Well, I mainly hunt in this forest. And occasionally help out anyone who's, you know, lost around this forest. Anyways, we should get going. I hate for you to be out here when the night falls. Because, well, let's just get going. So, what's the purpose of you even trying to... You know, find your friend. Hmm? You brought a gift for him. Huh. I see. Well, you definitely remind me of someone. Who am I talking about? Well, he's actually a close friend of mine. Some would say. But, he really is just like a Good effect to me. What's his name? Oh. His name is Kree. And, uh, he's pretty much of a goofball. But, you know, what can you do? Hmm? How did he and Kree meet? Well, it's a long story. But,. I'd rather save the information to myself, since it's, you know, very, very dark. Anyways, I wanted to ask you, what's your friend's name? Alvaron? Ah, huh. I think I've heard that name before. Hmm? What am I getting at? Well, me and Alvaron kind of go back. Although, uh, suffice to say that, uh, you know, we used to be best friends until something happened. But it's been a long time since I've seen him. However, I haven't heard from him in a while. I just hope that he's safe. Hmm? Well, you have met Alvaron. Hmm. So I'm assuming he's told you much about me, didn't he? What about? Well, me and Alvaron used to live in the same village. Soon enough, we became childhood friends. Although, after that incident, I never really got to see Alvaron ever again. But anyway, we should keep going. But, uh, how long have you known Alvaron? Ah, I see. So you just met him about a week ago. Eh, 
Never thought that Avro would take so lightly to travelers like you. What do I mean? Well, he can be headstrong at times. And mainly, he... Well, he sometimes gets very, very serious about his work. What does he do? Well, he's pretty much a uh, traveling artist. He tends to take his work very seriously. But he's not really much of a friendly type. More or less, he's much more of a... How you would say... Passive aggressive. But, you know, if he's very much kind to you, then I'm pretty sure it's totally fine. I mean, he's a very nice guy, but once he gets going with his work, he's not willing to end up letting anybody interrupt him. Especially me. I mean, like I said, he is very passive aggressive. But, you know, once you get on his good side, pretty much everything will be fine. Just trust me on this. Anyways, we're here. Hmm? You wanted to give me something. Uh, you don't really have to do that. Besides, from the moment that I saw you walking around in this forest, I knew that some traveler like you wouldn't even hurt a fly, let alone even engage in combat. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can be very mean, but I do mean what I say. Anyways, we're here, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to keep Avaron waiting. He's not really much of a patient guy, but yeah. I'll leave you to it. Anyways, I hope to see you again soon. If you happen to stumble upon me again. Take care, Traveler. Stay safe. <laughs>